This is uh, an invasive sea lamprey. It's a fish that is native to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It got into the Great Lakes uh, as an invasive species through the canal system, uh, through the St. Lawrence Seaway, and then um, around Niagara Falls through the Welland Canal. So it's now in the Great Lakes. Uh, it arrived in the early 1900s and has been feeding on the Great Lakes fish since then. Uh, each one of the sea lamprey uh, fish uh, kills up to 40 pounds of fish in 12 months. That's when it's in its parasitic phase. It's uh, extremely damaging. It has devastated the fishery in the Great Lakes in the early 1900s. It was actually the impetus for the creation of the Great Lakes Fishery Commission. Uh, in the 1950s, because of the collapse of the fishery, you, the United States government and Canadian governments uh, formed the Great Lakes Fishery Commission to control um, cooperate and control the sea lamprey to coordinate fishery management and also to coordinate fisheries uh, and sea lamprey research. The program that we have has been extremely effective in controlling the sea lamprey around the Great Lakes and we're doing so to protect the seven billion dollar fishery. The, um, right now we're keeping sea lamprey populations at a level that keeps the fishery healthy, uh, both the, the commercial, recreational and tribal fisheries. The young larvae, the sea lamprey larvae, live in the bottom of the streams from about three to seven years. Now, they don't do much damage, they're just filter feeding at this point. But after three to seven years, they come out of the sediment and go through a true metamorphosis. Since we know that the young sea lamprey are living in those streams for so long, we can hit them in those streams with a chemical compound called lampricide. Uh, sea lamprey aren't very uh, developed um, evolutionarily, so since they're so primitive, that lampricide they can't metabolize that lamprecide and it kills them in large numbers, keeping their populations down and keeping the fishery healthy. And it doesn't affect the other species in the system. The yeah, it certainly looks intimidating. Uh, these are not dangerous to humans, uh, especially when you're swimming in the Great Lakes. Uh, sea lamprey like deep, cold water. They don't attach to humans. We're all swimming in warmer water. So uh, if somebody were to, to possibly catch them, it's usually when they're on a fish. Somebody will bring up a fish out of the water and there's sometimes a sea lamprey on it. What you want to do though is kill that sea lamprey. You don't want to put it back in the water because then it'll keep eating our Great Lakes fish. I think the best way to do it is uh, a lot of fishermen um, cut them up into bait um, or you can just uh, cut them up.